to another episode of How to Make a Short Story in Scratch Junior with me, Sammy the Robot. Yay! In today's episode, we are going to learn how to make characters talk to each other by using the say block and by using the start on message block and send start message blocks. Yay! All right. Well, if you guys remember what we did in the last episode, we made our character stance forever. So they had a really cool dance party. And we also made a second page that had another dance party, which is so awesome. So today we are going to imagine what are the characters going to say to each other? Hmm. Well, let's see what they are doing on this first page. Both of them are dancing. So, hmm. What should they say? Hmm. I think I want, um, I want Cat to say, Let's dance! And I want Flower to say, Yeah! So, let's see here. I'm gonna click on the start on green flag and add it to Cat. And then, I'm gonna click on this pink block, which is the say block, and add it here. Let's see what happens when I click on that. Oh, Cat just says hi. But I want Cat to say, let's dance. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna say, let's dance. All right, so now Cat says, let's dance. Um, isn't that awesome? And then I want Flower to wait until Flower hears Cat say, let's dance, and then say, yay! So after Cat says, let's dance, I'm gonna make Cat send an orange start message. Ooh, Sammy, what is that? Well, guys, on Scratch Junior, we're learning how to communicate with the computer. And we need the computer to send a message so that our next character knows when to talk. So, Cat says, let's dance and sends an orange message. And then Flower is going to talk when Flower opens the message. Start on orange message. And we're going to add the say block here for Flower. And Flower is going to say, yay! All right, let's see how that works. So, go back to Cat. And I'm going to click on the green flag on the bottom right here. So, Cat says, let's dance! And sends an orange message. And then, when Flower gets the orange message, Flower says, yay! Let's see all of that 
together with the dancing. Awesome! All right, isn't that cool, guys? Well, I want my characters to continue talking. So, after Flower says, Yay! I want Flower to send a message to Cat. Ooh. So, since we already used the orange message, we're going to change the color. I'm going to change it to red, but it can be any color you want. Okay, so at the at this message right after yay and then go back to cat and cat is going to say something when cat opens the red message oh what should cat say after Flower says, yay! Hmm, how about Cat can say, um, do you want to go to the moon? <laughs> because our next page is the moon. Oh, okay. Well, after after Cat asks, do you want to go to the moon? Um, I'm going to add another send message block. And this time, we need to choose another envelope color because we already used orange and red. So I'm going to mm, use the yellow one and then go back to flower and when flower opens the yellow envelope, flower is going to say, yeah, let's go. Let's go to the moon. Yeah. So, so far, we have the cat saying, let's dance. And then Flower says, yay. And then cat asks, do you want to go to the moon? And Flower said, yeah, let's go to the moon. Isn't that awesome? Let's see that one more time. Yay! Awesome. Okay, let's see that with the dancing now. Ah, I love cat and flower. All right, well, I'm going to pause and the last thing I'm going to add is after Flower says, yeah, let's go to the moon. I want Cat and Flower to really go to the next page. Hmm, how would I do that? Hmm, well, I'll give you a hint, guys. It's one of the red blocks. Can you guess which one it is? Is it the end block? No. Is it the repeat forever block? No. Oh, but what's this? Go to page two. Two? Oh, what's on page two? It's the moon. So if I add this after flower says, yeah, let's go to the moon. What's going to happen? I'm going to click.
click on the opened yellow envelope. They went to the moon! Whoa! Wasn't that so awesome, guys? Okay, let's watch this one more time in the big screen. Okay, I'm gonna click on the big screen and then click on the green flag. Let's dance! Yay! Do you want to go to the moon? Yeah! Let's go to the moon! And then they went to the moon! Awesome! Aww! I love it! What do you guys think? Let's watch it one more time! Let's dance! Yay! Do you want to go to the moon? Yeah! Let's go to the moon! And then they go to the moon! Isn't that awesome, guys? Well, I hope you liked today's episode. Today, we learned how to use the save block and we used a lot of the start on message blocks and the send start message box and used a whole bunch of colors orange red and yellow to make a story yay well, guys, today's homework is to make your characters talk to each other by using the save block and by using the start on message and send start message blocks. And don't forget to try to use the go to page 2 block to continue your story. Yay! Well, guys, it's been so much fun learning Scratch Junior with all of you. I hope you had tons of fun. Don't forget to go to www.ottiya.com and share your projects. You can ask your parents and teachers for help on how to do that. Well, guys, I can't wait until I get to see all of your projects. Until next time, I hope you guys continue to have fun making awesome projects on Scratch Jr. And don't forget me, Sammy the Robot. You can come find me anytime on otia.com. Also check out our educational resources and live Online classes with caring teachers. Yay! Alright guys, see you next 